So we were working with troubled kids through skateboarding and like wilderness survival skills. So it seems like you're never like your your jobs were never really based upon like how much money you're gonna make. It was never really about um, right um, a shitload of money. It was also like hey, because you want to do something that's like inspiring to you. And then- Yeah, I could I could think that. Yeah, my motives for my for my jobs was never about making money. You know, I it's a, I guess a little bit fatalistic, but I try to think. You know, if I was going to die the next day, it really wouldn't matter how much money was in my bank account. I'd rather go out doing something I loved and had passion for and was passionate about and would make a difference in the world. Something people would see, notice, be inspired by, talk about. I gotta find a home for man. This is when the guys from Active came over and looked at him. Maybe, maybe put him up in Active. Cause right now they're just like living in my mom's garage. This one is like the sunflower. I've been drawing this exact flower since middle school, but I never did it like on this scale. So this is like an eight foot tall sunflower, spray paint and uh, you know, paint paint pen. So graffiti mediums on this one. That's tiger versus deer. <laughs> This kind of predator versus prey. Um, people describe my art as neo folk. Um, neo folk meaning folk art is traditional art from a people like Egyptian art or Native American, you know, tribal art. So my folk art just comes from if I would imagine myself a member of an indigenous tribe, and I was to, you know, adorn something, you know, to the best of my ability using just my natural. Ta- uh, talents and way of drawing that's what it would be it's basically things broken up into color texture pattern finely detailed 